What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are replacing the front grille on my Mustang EcoBoost. Now this isn't the first time we've replaced the front grille. As you can see, it's running a stock GT grille right now, but going back a few weeks, I made a post on my YouTube page kind of weighing a couple different options with what grille we should choose. And uh, we have a decision. Yeah, I did it the RTR one. Now we were going back and forth between the RTR grill here and the Cervini grill, which I think would look awesome on the front end of the Mustang as well. But honestly, it came down to a price point and I already had some of the other RTR parts on the car and I really wanted to see it through with an RTR front grill. So let's take a closer look at this grill and show you what you get when you purchase this off the American Muscle website. All right, bring it around over here. This is our new studio. You can see the Mustang flag. We're absolutely official now. <laughs> this is the RTR grill up close and personal. Now this one is not the version with the light kit here. This one is significantly cheaper. That's the main reason why I did this. And if I want to later on, there's a company out there which actually makes these lights out of an OEM RTR housing, but you can change the colors of the LEDs. It's pretty cool. So if I want to do that in the future, I have the option to do so. Now, one thing I found kind of weird on this RTR kit is that one, they put these little uh, canisters or I guess inserts uh, in a separate box, right? So if you buy the light kit, you can put those in and vice versa. If you buy this plain one, the black inserts, you can put in as well. However, you have to drill your own holes to mount this into the grill housing, which I just thought that was kind of odd. Like they give you the hardware and everything else to do it, but you physically have to drill out the grill, you know, when you buy it. I figured that that would be something that they would do from the factory, but it's not a big deal. We did it. I already mounted, obviously, as you can see, these housings in the grill itself, and I think it looks pretty good. Now, Megan, did you notice I'm wearing my RTR shirt while installing the RTR grill? Very fitting. I know. I planned that this morning when I was getting dressed. It was the top on the drawer. Yeah. It was. It was actually, yeah, right on top, so it made it real convenient for me. <laughs> but anyways, first things first, we got to jack up the car, so let me get to doing that. Ooh, that is close. This is the first time I'm jacking up the car since installing those little side splitters there, and it, it fits. It's close though. It's very close. Gotta lift more weights. Now, real quick, how many of you in the comment section bet that this hood is gonna hit the top of my garage? I just saw that. It probably will. Oh boy. Oh, hey, boom. Nope, we good. Don't look at my engine bay, cause it's dirty. But the first thing that we're gonna do is pop off this radiator cover. There's just a few clips here on the top. I've done this a few times before, so I'm gonna get to that now. All right, radiator cover is off. We'll set that there. And then we can do some other stuff. <laughs> All right, now that the bolts are removed on the top of that radiator cover there and the front part of the bumper, I'm gonna actually take off the front wheels so we can get a little bit easier access uh, to the little bolts that are in this front section of the bumper. So let me buzz those off real quick. She was on there. She was on there, boys and girls. But with enough force, anything comes out, right? All those came off that time, real good, like. 
Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> okay. Let's see, do a little shimmy here. Negative Ghost Rider. All right. Nope. All right. Looks like we're going to be doing what I did before. Well, welcome back, gang. I, uh, those two wheels getting them off the front end of the car here uh, took me a lot longer than I'd like to admit. So I probably did some sort of jump cut there because that took way too long. Anyways, we are. Is that the van? Yeah, that was the van. Oh, you see that? Yeah, that was a piece of shit. <laughs> Anyways, we're under the car. And uh, so there is a, a couple clips here that you gotta take off. Clip here, here, over down there. There's two of them, there's one up here. Just so you can peel back the fender liner like this. And I'm sure I've covered this in previous videos, but there is uh, two bolts up here, which I've loosened a little bit. And you can kind of see that. And you gotta loosen these two up and then you can pull the bumper away from this top fender portion. So. That's what I'm going to do now. And then the last bit is just going to be going under the car and loosening up like the 16 or 18 screws or whatever it is that holds on the belly pan and uh, the bumper to this front lip here. So that's about it. So let me get this going real quick. Beautiful. Maybe the car figured that it gave me enough shit with those front two tires, or those two rims, that it's like, all right, yeah, I'll give you two bolts you can take out that are relatively easy. Nice. Probably just jinxed myself, though. Probably gonna lose it. Hmm, why isn't it coming? Oh, there it is. Okay, thank God. All right, are you ready? So all you gotta do is hold on this side, so we're gonna hold the bottom like this. Now it should be free. Boom! Thank you, look at that, Megan. You're a little mechanic. Formula drift mechanic. You know, I had the spirit of car shirt if I was helping you. Boom, yeah, RTR shirt. We should have got you one of those. I know, but it's gotta have this like pink and purple because it's my favorite shirt because of that. Yeah, sure. It's pretty stylish. Pretty stylish. Oh yeah, and fun little thing here. Not really fun, fun but fact. fun fact, there's a cigarette in my belly pan. I was like, I don't know how that got there. I must have ran over someone that was smoking a cigarette or something. Mustang life. <laughs> Megan, look at that handy dandy stand we got with two garbage cans. Isn't that great? Seems to work. It seems to work. So I have it up here so I can at least have it at eye level. And uh, we're just going through the process of <laughs> taking the clips out, which you can see all these clips that have to be popped out. I don't wanna do it, but we gotta do it, so. See you when it's done. Oh my God, oh, take that side, grab it. All right. Woo, Megan, we did Yay! it, yay! <laughs> The first time you've got your hands dirty on the Mustang. Nice. All right, whew, we are uh, we are ready to install the RTR grill. I, I did get, or we did get, the lower grill out as well. I'm gonna take that out for now and uh, we're gonna mock this thing up and see if we can just clip it in. It should be a lot easier going in than it was taking the dang thing out. But I'm uh, just gonna be careful here to line up the clips. And hopefully it fits. Kind of like what stock would, you know? Jesus <laughs> Who put all this shit around me right now? This is why we clean up after ourselves. Who put this old grill down on the ground right in front of where I was gonna sit? Oh my god, who did that? Oh wow. Well. Alright, let's take this thing down. Holy crap. Boys and girls, there's only like 3% of women that watch my channel, so. It's mostly men, which I don't mind to guess. It's like me and your mom. Yeah, it's like me and my mom. <laughs> Thank you to all the ladies who watch my channel. You guys are the true MVPs. So this means that you're not changing this out again. Right? <laughs> Probably not. This one. No, I think we're just gonna stick with this one <laughs> forever. Until we sell it. Oh yeah, there we go. Hey, hey. There we go. Nope. Eh. 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 I just had to straddle it. I 
just had to straddle her real quick. That's all it took. A quick straddle. So after that quick straddle, I was able to finish clipping in that upper grill and that left me with the lower grill. For the lower grill, I decided to buy some mesh off Amazon cut it to the size of the opening on the lower grill, and then I used a product called Goop to secure it in place, let that dry, and then it was time to paint and install. Once everything was painted, we were able to install everything just as we took it apart, and this is what it looks like. guys, it's done. The EcoBoost officially has an RTR upper grill installed. I also got that boosted badge on there. As you can see, I moved that over from the stock GT grill that we had before. And we have the lower custom grill installed. And I think it came out pretty good for the amount of money and time I really spent on it. So more importantly, I'm really wondering what you guys think of the car here. This whole RTR theme has come a long way and we're looking we're pretty close, man, to, to being kind of wrapped up on this RTR look. I mean, we got everything from obviously the front grill now to the side skirts to the to the rear rear end splitters there, the wheels. I mean, we need the gurney flap if we want to go all in on it, and then it's looking pretty good. We could also get the vents for the hood, but those are like 200 bucks for those two little pieces. I don't know if it's worth it, but <laughs> at the end of the day, guys, it's an EcoBoost that looks pretty darn close to an RTR spec from the outside here and I'm happy with that. I'm curious though of what you guys think. Let me know down below if you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to hit the like button for me. It lets me know that you liked it and uh, if you want to see more content hit that subscribe button. We've surpassed 2,500 subscribers on the channel. I know in YouTube terms that's not huge. However, for me, it's a pretty big accomplishment and I uh, couldn't have done it without each and every one of you that hit that subscribe button and joined the Daily Driven crew. So, if you wanna see more videos, make sure to hit that button. It's completely free, just hit it, and uh, you will be on the journey with us with my Mustang EcoBoost. We'll see where we go from here. All right, guys, have a great day. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye.